Ah, this one's gonna be tricky. Nah, not so bad. I'm gonna go this way first, because I'm assuming that this is correct. Woo! We're resourceful, little cat. Hmm. Probably should have anticipated that one. We got it. Quick, get out of here before the sentinels show up. Gotta get this battery back to Clementine. Okay. Oh, so that's how that connected. Fabulous. Fabulous. Go from there. Oh, shit, son. You think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cards? Yes, I do. You think he can stop us from hanging in our dig? Digs? Blah. Why did the word dig happen? Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Do not shoot me, please. I am just cat. Mm, do not want. Go away. Thank you. All right. You're going to turn around like the moment I don't want you to, aren't you? Uh-huh. Oh, well, goodbye, world. Yeah. Did I or did I not call it? The moment I don't want him to, he's going to turn around. And no, kitty. I know. Kitty goes zap. Kitty got zapped good. I was doing so well about not getting zapped, and the second I was like, guess what the robot did? Turned around at the least opportune moment. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. 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 Nope. It was, it was right there. It was right there. Not in there, you up here. You up here hiding in your little crystal spot. No, where did you go, lady? Person, man, what? I, Clementine strikes me as a very feminine name. No sign of Clementine. Looks like some kind of coded message. I like coded messages. B12 and the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. And there's four symbols. Signed Clementine, take a look. Uh, I know where like two of those things are. Three of those things are. Okay, like there's one. There's a starry lamp, but it's probably the one up above. Uh, I did find this thing, though. Inspect this. My sensors can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation I remembered. Like me, companions can't smell. So I wonder why they do this. There's also a message hidden under the container. It says, I'm with blankety blank. There's a crystal here. This gem is of medium value and low purity. The glow seems to only add it artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful? Bingo. Their message just says, Blazer. I'm with Blazer, okay. Pretty house. I said the same thing. I was like, this is a really cool little like loft, like kind of room thing with the little, the riser here. This little riser is cool. And then all, you have like a bathroom off. You have a, I would have a bedroom, little zone, a loft, and then my, whoop, my kitchen. This would be a really cozy little uh, spot, I think. Found something? No, I don't see anything. No, it's a toilet. It's a toilet. Is it this one? Didn't even notice this message here. Reads, nightclub. I'm with Blazer at the nightclub is, okay. We just need to find the, at the. Oh, whose legs are those? Look, something's been left here. Come to, I'm with Blazer, come to club. Got it, that's it. Well done, Lieutenant Katz, I'm the best. Let's go find her. We don't have much time. A very cozy house. I think it looked like a really cozy house. I was like, this house is pretty awesome. I'd stay here. It's not for you, go away. A bribe? I don't take bribes, I value my work. What is this anyways? All right, you know what? I hate this club, it's full of posers. At least there's no sentinels there. How do I get into your marvelous club? I don't think the bouncer is gonna let us in. We're gonna have to climb at the back again. All right, so there is a way to climb at the back. That might be a clue. Hey, this plank wasn't here last time. Hi, you are a pimp. Howdy, how are you doing today? Not as good as you, apparently. You're doing pretty, uh, pretty well by the looks of things. Hi, hey, how'd you get up here? You wanna party with us? Here, jump in and go get a drink. Aw, thank you. Like I said, we'll find, find person. Yeah, you let me in, thank you. Fire Elmo. Poor Elmo. I forgot we were here. I'm in a robot nightclub. I'm a cat in a nightclub. Enjoying yourself, little one? Last time we learned, our little drone buddy is a, is a person. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface and the underground living conditions becoming more and more squalid. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Nicocorp and the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Oof. 
A little close to home, don't you think, uh, there, little guy? Hey, customer. The access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private business going on there. Been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Got it. He's got a vape pen. What for, though? Okay, so I can come up here. Don't worry, Mr. DJ. I have your record. I knew it. So worth it. How about you? Give it to the left. Give it to the right. Beep boop, sweep swoop. It's called the Zygima Dance. I, okay. This club sucks. I tried to go to that stupid VIP room. They kicked me out. I stole this lever just for kicks. Get me a drink. I'll give you this silly lever. I happen to have a drink. Oh, thanks, friend. Here you go. As promised. Thank you. Wow. Oh, Blazer's leaving. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. Hmm. <laughs> Where? Why is this working? How does that work? Two birds, one stone. Not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. Sounds an awful lot like it's uh, personal. Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They're all yours. Meow. Oh, you what? Aw, I'm in a cage. Ooh, too close for comfort. Spooky looking. Jail. They hooked him up to a modem. They hooked him up to a telephone line. How could they? All right, let's see. Where we got here? Uh -huh. What kind of worst torture could you think of for a poor robot to be like, no, no, we're going to hook you up to the to an internet. Well, that's not so bad. This one. Ooh. Um... No, you don't see me. Screw off. I'm better than you because I'm a cat. There we go. Meow. Found it. Yeah, I can't understand you. Key. Got it. Simple enough. I'm a resourceful little cat. All right, robot. What's the plan? I need to get my, uh, need to get my bot. Don't know what that turned off. Okay, it turned off that. Oh, oh, they're upset. Oh, no. Ego box is the best. As you were, robots. As you were. By the power of the Nigo box, I they get out of here. Who? <laughs> Who? Made it out just uh, before I got shot. Don't get shot. I don't want to get shot. Felt like I was trapped in my lab's computer system again. All alone. But you came back for me. I can't believe it. You're a good friend. I'm a cat. So glad that we we're all together again. But we're not safe yet. We need to find a way out of here. Those sentinels are blocking the way again. They will spot me instantly. Maybe you can try to bait them into those cells and lock them in? One down. I did it. Are you proud of me, robot? Are you proud of me? Remember? Memory. Seems that sentinels are ruthless when it comes to defying them. Yeah, that's what I feared. They've completely erased him. No more emotions. No more self-awareness. No more memories. Please, let's not get caught. I agree. Let's uh not get caught by stuff. So I've got a lot of those empty boxes. I wonder how much uh, I actually ended up missing. Oh! He came right around the corner and just got me. Okay. No! Ah. Oh no. Jeez. Alright. Could be the case that I'm going about this all wrong. Who knows? Got him. There we go. Easy money. I did it. Are you proud of me, robot? Are you proud of me? Hi. That was funny. <laughs> I like that. He's just like... <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. Stay alert. We aren't in the clear yet. Oh, there it is. There's the way. Come on, my guy, we're practically out, right? This door. It's the only way out of this jail. I think we can open it from that control room over there. We have to find a way to get access to that room, though. Let's look around. To this room? We're in luck. They left the keys in the door. Up on the back of the truck. We should be able to jump over the fence to access the secure area. What?
Oh. That kind of jumped the fence. Got it. I thought he wanted to, like, ramp this little scooter off of something. I was like, what? Ed is egg and egg. Let's do this, robot. Let's get out of here. Ooh, cutscene. No way we'll all make it with the sentinels on our trail. Oh, come on. Why do you guys keep, gotta keep sacrificing yourselves? I can distract them for a little while, but you have to go. The Outsider's Manifesto says we must go outside at any cost. I wrote that. You're one of us now. It's not that everyone has to get to the outside, but one of us has to. That's a really bad philosophy, but sure. Go, now. I'll keep you in my ram, little outsider. Aww. I really hope that they somehow get all of them out. At least that's my hope. Let's see, this is the subway. Must be a control thing over here or something. We got no power. Is it this thing not providing power? Something went down here not plugged in. Looking at this cord here. That was the battery, got it. <clears throat> Almost forgot about all that last time. All lights are green. All right, we're getting pretty close. I feel like we're in the last stretch of the, of the game. Select item, key. Take us away, Subway. Get us out. Get us out of here. Control room. All right, we're in it. Enjoy the world's safest city. This looks like a city that's like untouched by anyone. Oh, no, there's robots here and everything. Hi. Helper 477. Hello. How may I help you? Uh, can you lead me to the way out? No? Okay. The escalators are broken. Walled City 99. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. I feel like these are the robots that didn't develop anything because they didn't have enough interaction with people. I'm currently painting this area. Please be careful of the wet paint. Have a nice day. The robots on this end are like all kinds of emotionless. They're like, this is our job. This is job. Greetings, inhabitant of Walled City 99. This door leading to the surface is currently locked due to the confinement procedure. Please refer to any certified engineer inside the control room if you have any requests. Have a nice day. Okay. Yep. Just a bunch of helpers. Bunch of uh, robots doing what robots do. Oh, this is cool. You can see everything we've done up to this point. That's really, really cool. There's the big creepy tower. And then there's the slums that we were in. There's the dead city. Midtown. Prison. This is cool. This is really pretty. Uh, control room, control room. The control room is closed by some sort of security protocol. It says that only humans are authorized to enter. It also says that I'm not considered human. Hey, that's offensive security protocol. Maybe if we work together, we can open this passageway. We have something to interact with right here. Aha. Because that's how that's allowed to work. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. That's dangerous. Control room. We did it. This is the control room for the entire city. They controlled everything from here. And it's empty. I remember hating them so much. They had everything. Clean space, limitless power, freedom to move. A little good it did them. Yeah. The plague. Hey. I remember now. Everyone was dying and they thought they were above it all. They did nothing to help us. I watched my family die. I felt helpless. I couldn't do anything to save them. That's sad. But I can still help you. We can still go outside together. I will carry the memories of humanity and the people I loved. Yep. This is it. The main computer. According to the mainframe, no one has been here for years. The whole city is stuck in a lockdown cycle from long ago. If we disable it, we should be able to leave. We'll need to bring the rest of these systems online. These computers hold the data we need. We need to turn them on. While you do that, I'll look for passwords and encrypted keys to get into the system, okay? Because turning on computers is this easy. I found it. I know how to open the city. Something's off here. Wait, maybe there's a way around it. Roof control station. La. System is locked. There. That's the workstation to open the city. There are several layers of security preventing us from using it. Now we need to do what we do best. Me, I'll hack the machines. And you destroy some stuff. Uh, you know what? I'm in. Wait, what am I destroying? Here you go. 
Meow. Oh, hack. Got it. Oh, did you get zapped, little guy? The system is taking more than I expected. One lockdown. Uh oh. Oh no. We have to keep going. Okay, well, that's one system down. One more down. Blap. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I can recharge once we open up that workstation. I feel like this is gonna zap him and he's gonna get get got. Blap. I think this little body is done for. It's okay. I'll be alright. Just carry me to the workstation. We can disable that alarm. Come with me, little friend. That's it. We're safe. Listen, I have something to tell you. I knew the power required to disable the city's central control system would be immense. More than this drone body could handle. But with the security now disabled, I can take control of the system and open the city. Overriding it could destroy my software. But I made that choice when I hooked into the first computer and the consequences it could bring. Oh. I'm sorry we won't see the outside together. I thought I needed to carry on the memories of humanity to hold on to the past. But I see a future in the companions and you. Here, let me take that off of you. You were my friend. The very best I could have asked for. Thank you. Aw. Meow. Poor little guy. Blap. Aw. Oh, cat. Don't be sad, cat. Yeah, nap time. Door opening, 1%. Please wait. Oh, what? That poor little, like, robot city down there is probably like... What? Is this something like, gonna kill all the, like, head crabs? Because it's UV that they're afraid of, right? Yep, they're just gonna start getting popped. Oh, hey, look. He's okay. Oh, wait. Is that the one? Oh, no. That's the Guardian or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. What about the other one? Oh, there's those two. There's the dock and whatnot. We did it, little guy. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? Damn, look at it go. So then where did I fall in here from? Where did I fall into this big place from then? Yes, I am human. I'm outside. <gasps> Birds. I'm outside. No. Got the sun on my face. The smell in the air. I'm a cat. I can't meow anymore. I would love nothing more than to meow right now. We did it. We made it out. We're the best cat. <laughs> We are the best of cats. Oh, it was such a fun game. This is what... Okay, okay.
I'm gonna rephrase that. This was a good game, I enjoyed it immensely, and that doesn't quantify fun. Like, hmm, how do I, how do I phrase this? I don't, I can't really say that it was a fun game because there was not a ton of like fun aspect of the game to follow. This was very much a, we have a story and we have a great way of telling it by doing it like this and you get to be a cat. And I'm like, awesome, I'm in. And so it's a very, very well put together game. A lot of emotion in the game. And uh, props to the staff here, props to this studio. So I guess my words on, on it are is that it is a very good story. It is a very well put together game. Almost, it's almost a walking sim, right? It's a walking sim where it's like, we have a story, walk along, follow the story, solve a few puzzles here and there, fine. I, I still enjoy those games. So if I had to give this game honest to goodness, criticism and score, because I do have some criticisms because nothing is perfect. Everything can be made better. How would I make this one better? Some of the puzzles are exceptionally easy, exceptionally simple, simplified, uh, puzzle platforming could be a little bit more added into that. I think that the environment art was phenomenal. Characters were wonderfully portrayed. This the story itself is is very very simplified. It's to you know get your way out. You play as this character, point A to point B, and there's a lot of points in between that lead you to that end game. Right? Oh, is there an after credits scene? Nope. Okay. I've gotten 21 of 27 things. Six hours, one minute, nine seconds. Do I get to see my other cats, or do I have to get like? 27 to 27 to get an end credit scene, I bet. Uh, if that's the case, I might have to do that off stream because I don't know where any of that stuff is. So my, my, I guess my only real criticism would be, I would like the puzzles to be a little bit more complex in some way. And it's a little short, little, little short. However, the pacing feels right, which is something, you know, it's like, it's hard to really get after a game for being like, oh, your game was so short, but the pacing was like on point. So what do you do? The pacing's on point, but the game is short. What do you do? Esper, come here. Esper, come here. I see you walking. Come here. We finished the cat game. Yeah, we finished the cat game. <laughs> uh, things I loved about the game. I got to be a cat. And the portrayal of emotion was very, very much on point, right? Like the way that they were projecting or presenting the emotions of the characters was very, very well done while still having some kind of almost a, a blank shield against it. Like they're still robots, but they've like simulated these weird emotions and they just, they hit them harder somehow. There's the Esper. Hi, sweetie. Now that we finished the cat game, the cat's back. Yeah, you took like one step in your bed. And now you, you backed out. Come on now. There you go. There we go. Uh, typical cat typical cat. I also have to give absolute major props to the environmental team because it was so pretty as an environmental game. The level design was really really nice. The environment and the scenery that it made and the little culture that it kind of gave these little robots to be like this is what they developed as a way of imitating what they knew. So that's uh it's kind of clever. I liked it. I'm gonna give it an honest 8 out of 10. Honest 8 out of 10. I got to be a cat, fabulous. I got to explore around a bunch, fun puzzles, very, very simple. Nothing that I couldn't try a couple times and be like, oh, I mean, most of the time I got the puzzle right the first time I was like, well, this is what I gotta do. And then it was just a matter of executing that. And every once in a while I just failed at the execution. So it's like, ah, I can't blame, I can't blame the game for being, I, I was just not playing it right. So the puzzles were simple because I solved them rather quickly. I could, could have probably done it in a less than the six hour it wanted. Anyway, fabulous game.